I'm going to share with you a wig review and the wig I'm actually going to share with you is called Current Events and it is from Raquel Welch and it's part of their signature collection. So Current Events, Raquel Welch and this is in the shade Shade of Cappuccino which happens to be the exact same shade that I am wearing in my upstage which is also Raquel Welch. So before I put her on my head I'm going to show you the inside of the cap because this is really beautiful. So one of the things that I love about all Raquel Welch is that their lace front is impeccable. It really is. It is so well designed. It is so pretty. This has a monofilament part. It's not a super wide one but it's wide enough that you have some flexibility in this bob style has very little permatease. It has beautiful, beautiful stretchy cap and air tabs felt with bra strap, felt with the Velcro adjusters, which I really, really like. So temple to temple, lace front, really gives you some natural styling options. This cap has silicone coated stretch uh, lace so it kind of really when it, it's a memory you know it kind of really molds to your head really nicely gives you that super custom fit feel and again the monofilament cap it's wide I've seen some that are super super narrow so you do have some parting options but it is a part it's not a full mono cap which is usually what I really like. So this is individually hand tied fibers right around here which is really super nice. The color is shade cappuccino. I'm going to put it on my head. And the style obviously in this particular style it's a long a bob. And upstage is more of a shorter. I've got some layers in here just kind of a different you know, different textured look. I'm going to put her on. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I said this before. I always feel like Cousin It when I first put a wig on my head. So you want to make sure that you have it positioned right. You want to make sure that you have your ear tabs right. And then you kind of play with your hair a little bit. So I can tell right away that she wants to flop in my face and that means that I would have to probably do a little bit of heat styling, um, probably steaming because I don't like it flopping in my face like this to be, you know, to be honest with you. I like it to be a little bit off of my face. But if I can get that front piece to go where I want it to go, I think this would be kind of pretty cool look. Let me turn around. So let me just give you a few of the dimensions here. So the color that I have on is Shade of Cappuccino. And Shade of Cappuccino is probably my favorite color ultimately in the Raquel Welsh line. It reminds me very much of Beltress Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Um, and there's a few others, a few other colors and some other brands that this reminds me of. But there are different variations, you know, when you, when you, even from the same manufacturer. So this is True to Life Fibers in the Raquel, Lynch, Ra Raquel Welch line. And it is heat friendly, synthetic fibers. And the front is, according to their dimensions, is 13 inches. I have a 9 inch hairline to chin. I have 22 inch circumference. The front of this is 13 inches. The crown is 13 inches. The sides, and it tapers down 8.25. The back, 9.25, and your nape is 2.5. The product weight is a little over four ounces, 4.6 ounces, which surprisingly is not that heavy for all of this hair. So this is, the way they describe it, an edgy long bob with a crisp A-line shape, slightly shorter in the back with just enough texturized to be beveled back here. It's very sleek, very straight, 
and very contemporary, I think. I really like it. Now, I'm just going to show you the wig that I had on earlier. It has a little bit more, and you probably can't really pick up, but it has a little bit more blonde in the front. I like it to be lighter in the front. This shade of cappuccino does not have as much of the heavier blonde fibers in the front as I like. So different, I mean different variations of the exact same color. I wore this outside and this outside. I'll superimpose those shots. The first one you're going to see is me just walking right now in the yard wearing upstage in the same color. And as you can see, it is sort of a mixture. It's a sort of overcast, but the color's just really pretty. And the second one is going to be me walking in the yard with current events. So current events, I'll make sure I leave a link for you. So this was actually sent to me complimentary uh, for me to be able to review it for you from my bestie Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. Marlene and I exchange wigs every now and then just so that I can maybe, and I've said this before, I, I have the benefit, she doesn't, because she's got a ton of wigs and um, She'll let me borrow a wig, per se, to, to share it with you. And I was so curious about this. I happen to really like this. Now, again, you know, the color is a little different, but um, I'm just really attracted to these A-line bobs. They don't look the best on me, but I think this is one of the better ones that I've seen for my, for my face shape. I do like to have a little bit of a texture up top. There is really nothing to speak of as far as permatees on this. So anyways, I'm going to enclose the outside shots as I'm talking so you can see what this looks like outside. It is really just a pretty, very natural looking wig. I think I would, you know, definitely want to train those floppies off the face. Almost every wig has floppies. You do, you know, if you expect a wig, if you expect to open up a wig and put it on your head and look exactly like the the picture on the website and half the time i'll tell you i won't even buy a wig based on the pictures on the website because half the time they don't look as good as that may look in the real life but when i buy a wig when i'm really thinking about a wig i'm going to find a reviewer whose face shape is as close as mine uh you know with length and style um i i'm a i'm a bigger girl so you know if you are tiny tiny petite this you're going to have a whole lot more hair basically um, to deal with than I do but being a bigger gal, you know, this this is not a ton this This hair can overwhelm I think very easy if you were tiny and petite however, it really all depends on what you really like and um, But you know if you're watching wig reviewers and you're thinking about buying a wig and you and you wanted to look exactly like the person who's wearing it first of all lighting makeup um body shape, body styles, what they're wearing, everything makes a huge difference. And more importantly, if you're looking for color, then, you know, what you play this back on is also going to tell a story on the color. So this is shaded cappuccino. And I've got a lot of shaded cappuccinos. And I will tell you, the blend on this, this to me overall pulls uh, more of a browner look. And the blend has less of the dynamic highlights that I like in Shade of Cappuccino. But that's just this one. So anyways, thank you Marlene for sending this to me. I'll get her back to you ASAP. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate every single one of you. Be sure to, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.